Welcome back to another episode. This week, we leave the Great Ocean Road behind us and hit South Australia. We head underground. Looks like someone got a Jurassic Park. Taste the local delicacies and attempt to take the whole gang fishing. So sit back, subscribe if you want to, and follow our travels around Australia. I <laughs> got. Uh, we're just trying to get out, <laughs> and it's proving to be very difficult. Now it's 8:30, and we've been up since five. <laughs> but welcome to a new episode. We're in Mount Gambia. Uh, we had a couple of days exploring before this, so we'll show you some of those clips now. Look at me, mates behind me. We're in. Wenamble, Warnable, Wenamble. Where the uh, seagulls are friendly. We start off the journey here. Run, Vinny, run! We had a few long days driving on the Great Ocean Road, so it was nice to spread the legs on some of the coastal walks. <laughs> but yeah so much to do so much to see and so many options for accommodation but we stayed at that free camp as you saw last episode out um, near Allen's Allensford or something like that and that was pretty good anyway um, when Amble today if you have kids or you're a big kid yourself this is an awesome town. There's kids playgrounds, there's paddle boats, um, there's water parks right on the front, so close to everything. Um, but let's see what we can find. The boys are pretty quick to find these little boats. They didn't have to ask me twice to go for a quick little ride. Ah! Oh, we're doing a doughy. <laughs> so we're doing a doughy. Link, see the arrow? See the arrow, we've got to follow the arrow. We're doing donuts again, Finn. Can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't know, the little fellas have a gift. They can sniff a park out from a mile away. Go under it, Vinny. Go to Vinny. We left the parks in our rear view mirror and headed for our next stopover. The town of Portland. A few boats out there too. Yeah, I know. Making me jealous. we to find somewhere we can just get the tinny off. Sick beach camp. This is called Crumpet Beach. Yes, I thought it was the Crumpet, but no, it's a unique pebble beach. It looks pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> then we're going to try and find. What is it? The Gannet. Gannet colony. Apparently there's a heap of birds. Gannets. Gannets. <laughs> I don't even know what gannets look like. So right on the viewing platform out to these gannets, there is actually a rifle range just behind you. So if you hear a few shots, run. <laughs> So we've had a pretty relaxing couple of days and we've just got the kids all sorted and um, I'm going down for a flick to try and catch some squid off the jetty. So uh, see if we can get some because they were beautiful uh, last episode and um, yeah, see if we can nail them again. We had a pretty successful night last night, squidding, and I'm just going to show you exactly how much we caught. Elena, you were pretty impressed, weren't you? I was really impressed at 10 o'clock at night. Brace yourself for having a feast. He was gone for five hours. <laughs> that is all we have to show for five hours. So someone can get like a half full belly today. That's me, shoddy. Yeah, you can have it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. There's squid there, but we just couldn't catch them. <laughs> Next stop, the South Australian border. We crossed this bad boy and headed for our next camp. 
They can't help themselves. Water sprinklers. So we just um, booked for the unpowered site. 29 bucks. And we're all by ourselves. All right, realities of traveling with kids. Like I love parks because one, it entertains them, but I also hate parks because they always go to the swings and I hate pushing them on the swings. The worst. It is. Plus, we're trying to get out an adventure and it's just proving <laughs> to be very difficult. We have a tantrum when we say, leave the park. Then we have a tantrum getting into the car. There's tantrums everywhere. <laughs> then Lenny starts having a tantrum. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> I'll show you a tantrum. All right, you're all caught up and you've listened to Alenia's rant. Sorry about that. We can show you our time in Mount Gambia. All right, what's the first stop? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Umfastine or something yeah, like that? Something sinkhole. 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 <laughs> this park is a remnant of the late 19th century garden of which the sinkhole was the focal point. So it looks pretty cool. You're asking millions of questions. Aren't you? Pretty cool you can walk all the way around it and like I don't know, saw the foliage of green stuff hanging over the edge and um, pretty cool. All the limestone and everything. I think it's supposed to be a peaceful thing for people to come and see, but um, the kids are ruining it. <laughs> Not when our kids are here. No. And um, hopefully it's finished sinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a sinkhole. I know, it's a sinkhole. Yeah, what if it keeps sinking on us? We'll be gone. Is that a bad thing at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty next level. <laughs> so the next stop is Valley Lake. We're going to have a bit of lunch here. But, um, it's right next to the Blue Lake, which is the town's water supply. Awesome spot. And in summer, it actually turns like turquoise blue, like a really bright blue, um, which is pretty awesome to see. Um, you can walk all the way around it. Um, you see it as you drive anyway, but um, yeah, cool spot. We're gonna go there next, but for now, there's a massive park here for the boys to run a mark. And um, we'll probably sit down and eat something and watch them because that's what we do. Lenya's making me awkward on it again. <laughs> She's just standing there looking at me. I'll try it again. The boys are going to run a muck in the park. We're going to sit down on a chair. And have respite. And have respite. Stop making me awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Go Mumsy. Go Mumsy. <laughs> He's not letting go of the music bar, that's for sure. The package is coming! The package is here! <laughs> so our next little adventure is some k k k k k caves. And uh, we're just pulling up now and we got to get in there because we booked a tour. Yeah. It's the first tour we've been on in ages. It's not that expensive actually. 30 bucks for a family pass. No, our kids are free because they're oh. under four. Still little fellas. But yeah, the, it's about 37 for a family pass. Well, let's go do it. No. 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 Mm, okay. We're not doing it. Tough tips. No. <laughs> so, there's the entry to the cave. Uh, we're about to no. go in. Which is proving hard. <laughs> yeah, can't touch anything. 
Finley. <laughs> That was awesome. Yeah, it was. That was really cool. Yeah, it was a good experience. I'm glad we did it. Uh, unexpected, actually. Yeah, it was actually. We're not too big in those sort of things. Yeah. And normally we don't go on tours. Yeah, but you could get up, like <laughs> right up close and all that to it. Um, it yeah. It's really interesting. Definitely put it on your list, I reckon. Yeah, worth the 30 odd bucks. Yeah. Well, we're moving on today from our camp where it's just packed. <laughs> but um, we're just filling up with water and everything. Now we're headed towards the coast. Mount Gambia is an awesome, awesome spot. The sun has finally come out. It's a bit warmer today, which is good. But um, yeah, I think we got one stop on the way and then we should be out the coast. Big mama. Yeah, they got me. <laughs> I was trying to pay for fuel, but there was Krispy Kremes. How can you go past Krispy Kremes? I know. We're a sucker for roadside, oh like, what is it called? What are they called? BPs? Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Petrol station servos, feeds. We're a sucker for them. Yeah, it's not good for the budget. No. One left. It's a shame you're on your diet. What? There's one left. Shame you're on your diet. <laughs> no, give it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big boy. Mm. <laughs> when does your diet start? Never. It's been starting for a <laughs> while. It's all right, you just got to try. We've come down to the park, Port McDonald. And it's a cool little place. The boys found some penguins along the foreshore. I had to stop and look at that. But I'm pretty sure this is like one of the biggest lobster ports in Australia. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'll see. But I don't think you can see all out there is lobster boats. But park, we've got some fish and chips. And then we're gonna show you our campsite for tonight. It's a pretty cool little spot. You would not have seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna be like him? I've got him. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> We, uh, we met a follower in Mount Gambia, um, Luke and his family, wonderful, wonderful people, eh? South Australians are so friendly um, and so giving. They gave us a couple of crays for tea and um, put us onto this spot, um, word of mouth. So we're gonna feast on crayfish right next to the ocean. These probably came from just out there. So good. Yeah, nicest people, so thank you guys. Yeah, I'm sure you've been watching. Thank you a lot. <laughs> so we're going to tuck into this. Lennox absolutely loves it. We've been ripping a few claws off. We couldn't help ourselves to wait, but um, we're going to get into them. And then, are we going for a squid team? We sure are. We're going to try and get mummy. Big mama's going to try. <laughs> Dad's gonna on baby. Two. You what? I'm going to have get two. You're going to get two. All right, <laughs> we'll see. What do you think, big fella? I actually like this better. I reckon this is a... Um, Mix between mud crab and prawns, and I absolutely love it. Mm. But yeah, I'll try a bit of tail, I guess. The shell is so hard. You like the crayfish, don't you, Lennox? Um. <laughs> what are you fighting? It's an hour of power. <laughs> Do you reckon we have any chances of catching any squids? Not if they're running around <laughs> the jetty like that. We're going to throw them off the jetty. <laughs> yeah, it takes a huge amount of effort for all five of us to get out of the, the van. It sure does, especially at like this time. It's like <laughs> six o'clock, which is normally dinner, showers, bed. <laughs> yeah. Number two's on his 10th tantrum. <laughs> anyway, you're only in these spots sort of once, so we're gonna catch, <laughs> you're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun, boys, aren't we? Yep. And uh, hopefully, Alenia, have you caught a squid before? No. Hopefully, uh, you should get one. <laughs> it's going well. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a tangle, we're not even in the water yet. <laughs> Sorry, Lolly. You are born oh. into some crazies. <laughs> Finny! Finny! Going oh so well. Okay. 
Pini, do hormone. <laughs> yeah. You watch everyone on the pier vanish when we get there. Pini, come on, bud. Always run away. What are you catching today? A gaitis. Crayfish? And Dad gave me gaitis too. What about a squid? Yep. You getting where's, a squid too? Hey, where's Dad, Mum? Where's the squid? Yeah. yeah. Hopefully in the water. And hopefully you'll catch it. Have you caught anything yet, bud? <laughs> caught a bad attitude, that's what he caught. <laughs> Christ. Well, this is about the only way you get through it. What happened to your dream, big fella? Uh-oh. <laughs> Never again. Eh? What's up with you? <laughs> I just stepped on it. Sorry, Don't worry about the kids. Mrs. will smash everything. <laughs> Maybe I'll start crying too. Better be some squid out here ready to sacrifice their life. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, this is all for nothing. Kick it straight over. <laughs> no. Yeah, naughty dad. Yes, you. No. Over there. <laughs> Why did you do that, Finn? Ooh, Finny. That was naughty. Boots. Yeah, you chucked it in the water. Oh, Daddy got the boot. I think. Boot. We caught something. Boot. Oh, I wonder whose boot it is. <laughs> Dad life, hey? It's not Dad. a squid. Hey, you get the best bag. Then you have your Asian body We should pour this all over your head, Finn. Now you have your best. Do you know what would be thing. funny? If you fell in now, that would just top it all off, wouldn't it? I feel like jumping in. <laughs> well, we've learned that lesson, haven't we? Yeah, we have. That was a disaster. So the boys were an absolute pain last night, but they are good. They're starting to back on to the car. Go standing out there with Lenny. Go wheelie, Dad. Righto. Stop. Stop. The stability control. Ooh, good boy. Good fella. Ooh. Can you say Anderson plug? Anderson plug. That's what they are. But today we're moving on. We're going to see what we can find. No plan. That's how we travel. But um, yeah, hook the van up and we're off to the next spot. So apparently that little blue lake is a constant 12 degrees. So too cold for us. <laughs> yeah, but it's 25 meters deep at the shallowest point and 45 meters deep at the deepest. So uh, that's some useless information for you. I'm getting good at useless information, eh? Hey? You are. <laughs> so. We've just pulled up to our um, our next camp, and it's all right. It's all right, eh, Dale? Yeah, it's all right. I'll do. Yeah, it'll do. It's 25 bucks a night, and um, yeah, I'll just show you. I'll spin you around. The caravan's there. <laughs> what? Look at that. That is insane. Insane. And um, we booked here two nights, but I think we're going to extend, because that looks like... Um, the boat is coming off, swimming, all beach drive, and there's so much stuff here to do. Anyway, we're gonna have lunch. The boys are gonna have a bit of lunch, and um, then we're gonna get into it. There's too many things, and it makes me excited. 25 bucks a night. What? Do the Baywatch run. No. Do it. How embarrassing. <laughs> oh, this is us for the next four days. What an awesome spot. Give us a dive. Ooh, 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 Be ooh. Mama, <laughs> Welcome to Alenya's Gourmet Cooking. And today, we actually have a special guest with us. Why are you eating popcorn when I'm about to cook dinner? Let's get ready for the show. 
Joke's on you. You're helping me cook. Why? And terms and conditions of this cooking episode is that you cannot butt in. You get told what to do. <laughs> so today we are making pies. Ooh. Now get up, big fella. Bacon and mince. Cook it, please. <laughs> That, that's a bit big, make it a little bit smaller. All right, bacon, you don't want no fat. We're already fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little bit skinnier, thank you. You'll get there. Did you wash your hands before this? <laughs> no. Well, that's 101 of cooking. You didn't tell me, I'm just a puppet. My hands are working off your mind. Gross. If you all know Nick, he doesn't like to be told what to do. <laughs> He's not a team player. Oh, oh that is so wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but this would be killing him. No, I like taking instructions, Zillinia. Do ya? Or you? Cut that bacon, big fella. <laughs> you cut it good. <laughs> Chuck it in. You gotta sprinkle it. Right, stir in a clockwise direction. And before you ask, yes, it does make a difference. <laughs> it does not. It does make it a does difference. It does not make a difference. It does. How? It tastes nicer. Does any of your stuff taste good? You need to come up with a gravy mix. Do you want me to help you with that? I feel like it's your cooking show and you should do it. Gravy mix. Back on topic. Let's go. <laughs> Cottage pie mix. Do you reckon you can handle that big fella? <laughs> yep, it's good instructions. What does it say? Well, you have to read these too, Alenia, by the way. I know, well you don't normally. <laughs> Neither do you, I've seen you cook a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright darling, I'm going to take over. <laughs> Let the real chef do it. <laughs> oh, after every, I... <laughs> Typical. Back in the hot seat. Now, got me puff pastry, got me sheets, and I'm actually going to use a little cupcake tin to make these. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if you can hear what Lennox is saying in the background. Daddy. Daddy, I'm having a poo. Lennox, good on ya. All right, so I've lined my pastry, puff pastry, then I lined the meat. <laughs> okay, you put your cheese on top. All right, you put your base on, and then to make it a little bit fancy, make a little pattern. We're gonna put milk on top. Oh, I love me oven. Putting them in, don't know how long for. I'll check them in maybe 20 minutes. 15, 15. I think they're okay. They might make it boys. Yeah. Woohoo, let's get them out. <laughs> get them out. Hot? Woohoo. You got leather hands. Woohoo. The boys must be hungry. <laughs> Set the table. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Lennox and Finny. Burnt pies. Burnt pies. <laughs> uh, uh. Burnt pies. Can we hear everyone sing it? Burnt pies. They are not burnt. Mm -hmm. Very hot, boys. Dad, you can have a burnt one. What? <laughs> how does it look? Give us how it looks. Oh. The base is real soggy. Bam, deductor point. Well, I actually am going to blame you for that. How? Because you. Cooked the mince. Whoa! <laughs> Bigger! What are you doing to my pie? Put it down, Finn. Is it alright? It is actually pretty good, and I love the cheese and bacon. But um, base is a bit soggy. <laughs> um, she tried to kill us with the heat, so I'm going to give you a nine. And Lennox said it was a bit burnt. Yeah. Should we give her an eight? Seven. Six. Yeah. Six. There you go, Lennox gives it a six. Ollie don't like it at all. 
What are you going to give yourself? Ten, probably. <laughs> it's really good. It worked out well. I'm surprised. <laughs> Well, the reality of traveling, <laughs> yesterday we had plans for this place, but um, the weather's kicked in. <clears throat> Turned our beautiful beach into gray water, um, and the wind is pretty next level. We're about to put the awning away, and it's only gonna get worse. The next three or four days are supposed to get worse than this. So we're gonna bunker down and hide somewhere inland, but this is gonna be the end of this episode. Thanks for coming with us. Um, hopefully next week, we can find some sun, beaches, um, all that sort of gear. But thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next week. I'm going to end this episode with me flying your drone. Oh dear. <laughs> it looks pretty easy. What could go wrong? <laughs> Stick your tongue out, it helps. Stop it. If anyone's wondering, yes, we did get the drone back and in one piece. Thanks for watching guys, remember if the content interests you, hit the subscribe button, thanks for all the support, especially our patrons, see you next week.